Hey folks, this has been with Meshtastic, finishing up our month of modules with the canned messages module. And the canned messages module is a pretty complex but really neat module within Meshtastic that actually allows us to operate devices as more of a standalone feature without the phone. Um, it kind of started off as uh, the ability to operate um, a device with a rotary encoder or buttons um, to actually uh, send a predefined list of what we call canned messages, right? Kind of like canned responses. Um, it's since grown quite a bit to accept a number of other things like keyboard peripherals. Um, and just have a lot more configuration options. Um, so I'm gonna go through all of the little hardware options that we have available in terms of setting up. Let me just get my, in terms of setting up the uh, canned message module. So um, as I mentioned, we can use rotary encoders. We can use buttons and these are some options from rack wireless that are just um, community kind of um, accepted input sources, but you can easily breadboard your own um, as long as you know the GPIO pin numbers because we're, again, we're, we have to have uh, knowledge of which GPIO pins when we're configuring this. Um, another option is LilyGo's 1.3 inch uh, module that has an up, up, down and center button. And then the thing that's really exciting is keyboards, right? And this one's kind of the most popular one in the community. This is called the the Card KB, and it is an option from M5 Stack, um, and it actually is automatically detected via again I squared C. You'll see that as a theme coming up a lot in this month of modules, uh, or you have seen it, I'm sure. Um, so let me just clear these out of the way. So I'm going to go through some of the conf basic configuration first, and then I'll I'll do a little demo. And I've just got two devices here that I'm going to do a demo with. I'm not going to go through every single hardware configuration because there's a ton of them. So um, first, again, the, and this is you know, we've gone through this pretty much with every module is that we have to enable it first. So we've got an enable um, option. So that actually turns canned messaging on. Um, another thing we can do, and you, if you remember from the external notification module, we have option on devices with external notification print uh, peripherals. We can actually send a uh, bell character, an ASCII bell character, um, and, and we can configure canned messages to do that with every message that it sends. And so that would that would potentially trigger those devices. So that's kind of neat. Um, then of course we have our defining our predefined messages, right? Those, um, so there's some the phone clients um, allow you to to set this, and then in the CLI you're going to um, run a set message uh, set can messages command and actually pipe delimit those. Um, and we have a, we do have a limitation there. Um, message list can be up to 200 bytes. So don't you know? Don't think don't think of this as an opportunity to put in a bunch of like really long sentences because that's just not going to map well to the system. It's you know it's more for like yes no, uh, Roger you know that that kind of thing. Um, we also have an input source. Uh, configuration so that tells the can message module kind of what to expect in terms of peripherals uh, so we've got any and that's kind of like um, that's going to allow any in, uh, peripheral input device but we also have some for rotary encoders and up down um, you know up down being uh, like the like the lily go um, option um, and then of course our card KB right here uh that's that's the option for 
for that guy. Also, the the uh, the key matrix is mentioned. Uh, so that's that's another option and under that particular uh, value. Um, so we also have to, if we're using a rotary encoder, we, we need to enable that. And then we've got a bunch, and I'm not going to go through every single one of these because there's just so many configurations. Again, this is a good opportunity. If you get lost, go to Discord. Uh, well, first go to the documentation and see if you can find what you need there. Uh, secondly, go to the Discord to, you know, if you have any questions about uh, what GPIO pin or uh, I'm not sure if I got these settings right, what does this mean? Um, go to the Discord and, and ask ask those questions there, and I think you'll get the help that you're looking for. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead, in the interest of time, and skip forward to the demonstration. So I've got two devices set up here with, with CAN, message, CAN messages set up. One of them has the uh, card KB that is connected over the I2C bus. So this is a really neat device that uh, Tony Trofo, uh, you guys may know from, from Discord and his Etsy store, sells these uh, messenger uh, standalone communicator devices. So these are really neat because they allow you to do quite a bit of um, messaging just with a standalone device, no phone needed. Now you can still use these with phone obviously, but um, the ability to actually um, message from a standalone unit like this is big. And I, I, I realize I didn't explain earlier, but one of the neat things about canned messaging, uh, canned messages module that's really kind of gone past the, uh, the, the original semantics of it is the free type functionality that you get with this keyboard. And I'm going to demonstrate that here in a second. But first, I want to demonstrate the rotary encoder. So I've got a, a list of canned messages uh, here that I've set up on this device. And this is using the uh, one of the rack WIS block rotary encoders that's that works natively. Um, so I'm going to scroll through to the message I need so you can you activate it by actually scrolling through. So I'm going to scroll through and click and that will send the message and normally this thing would light up like Christmas and have all kinds of little buzzing and stuff but I've got I've got a lot of stuff turned off um, for purposes of this video um, so that that's really neat that you can actually you know go through your list of messages a uh, good good use case for this is thinking about uh, like SAR teams or, or um, use cases of that nature where you might want to have uh, a canned list of things that you could respond or um, notify someone um, that there's an issue or, or you know, affirmative, negative. Um, and so that's neat. This is going to be really neat, though. Uh, so the as I mentioned, um, one of the, the kind of pieces that's evolved in the canned messaging module is the free typing um, interface that we get now. And so when we added support for these card KBs, um, you know, initially we just had up down functionality where you could scroll through the canned messages and you can still do that. Um, I can still scroll through and send a traditional canned message, which is neat. Um, but Here's the really cool thing. I can actually use this as a keyboard. So I'm going to send a message. And the way I do that, I just start typing. And it's and it's initially going to just uh, send that to the broadcast channel. When I'm done with my message, I just hit enter and send it. So it's really neat. Um, and it, uh, you can see we received it over here. Um, another another thing just to note, and I'm not going to go through every little bit of functionality with this, but let's say I'm, I'm typing and I'm like, oh, I really don't want to send a message. Just hit the escape button. Um, so really cool, really neat to kind of break the dependency of uh, having, having to have 
an app or a client to be able to send messages natively on the device. So that's kind of the that's kind of the beauty of the CAN message module and, and I would say the external notification module. They're really they really kind of go hand in hand. Um, get that light off here. Um, so that's all I've got. I will again as always I will post settings in the YouTube uh, details and I'll also post a link to this uh, to to um, to Trofo's uh, Etsy store to where you can buy these if you want also um, the uh, printables because all, all this stuff is is open to, to build build yourself if you <laughs> if you're feeling adventurous um, and and Tony does a good job of documenting all the settings that he uses so I won't post those in the YouTube I'll just post the the link to the printables um, uh, entry for that. And that's all I've got, guys. Thanks for watching.